Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. I reported on how schools teaching sexual education are under no obligation to give the contents of those lessons to the parents. And indeed, this only came to light when one parent took the school to court and lost. Uh, and this, this school maintained its right to withhold the contents of the lessons from the parents. And it turns out that these lessons were the most awful things involving, uh, let's just say, uh, self-pleasuring, um, bottoms, you know, male and female. Uh, the acceptance that other people may find you um, attractive, regardless of their age. This is what children are being taught. Uh, all these sort of things. It was utter degrading, horrible things. And the parents were appalled and they took the school and said, you must tell us everything that you're teaching and no. Well, Miriam Cates uh, is an MP, Conservative MP, and she is introducing a bill in Parliament today that will force all schools to absolutely publish the contents of these lessons so that parents may see them in advance of them being taught to children. Once you have the cold light of day pouring forth on the, these sort of lesson plans, it will become quite apparent that uh, the schools will become incredibly embarrassed about what they're teaching because up until now, uh, it's been a private matter and they can get away with it because like nobody knows it's our little secret and the one th the one thing you want to don't want to hear as a as a parent is anyone saying to your child it's our little secret well i hope this bill goes through um she does a lot of work her and uh, she's a conservative you have rosie duffield on the labor side they do a lot of work together on this but it's miriam kate's name on this particular bill so i do hope that they push this through um and it can go through quite quickly, get to the next stage and go through so that all parents have the rights to see exactly what these Marxist teachers, these degenerate peas and groomers in the schools are saying and showing your children. We'll take a look at this. It's only a very short article. We'll take a look at it uh, and see where, what the state of play is. And here goes. I should have made clear, of course, because uh, some of you will know you'll have seen the previous video. But for those who didn't see the previous video, I should have made clear that those lessons that were teaching kids about self-pleasuring and whatever, they were aimed at 9, 10 and 11 year olds. We're not talking older children here. We're talking prepubescent children that were being taught these things. That's what they're doing in schools. And that's why this uh, this law is so important because the parents were appalled when they found out what they were being told uh, to their young children uh, and they could do nothing about it. They weren't even allowed to see the lesson plan in advance and the courts were backing this up. The courts of this country were on the side of the groomers. Isn't that just appalling? Uh, anyway, just zip that up a bit. So MPs push for sex education transparency where parents could see lesson plans and materials under a new law. Uh, now, the the irony of uh, Miriam Cates is her constituency, but we won't we won't laugh at it. So Miriam Cates, the MP for Penis Tone, is actually Peniston. We know that, uh, and Stocksbridge will today introduce the bill. It would stop schools using unpublished materials from third party providers because they they claim that it's oh it's a uh, secret you're not allowed to see it because it's um uh, you know sensitive it, not not sensitive as in the subject matter but um you know business sensitive we don't want people seeing it copying it and then we lose our money that's what they were talking about there the fact is it's it's degenerate filth is what they're teaching these kids uh parents could be able to see uh, sex education lesson plans and other materials under a new law proposed by a conservative mp Miriam Cates will today introduce a sex education transparency private members bill. It gets worse, private members. Um, it's not funny. I, I, I'm, I'm making light of it. It's not funny. Um, it would create a legal duty for English schools to share materials used in relationships and sex education lessons with parents and prevent schools from using unpublished materials if they are produced by a third party provider. 
Uh, and this, it comes under uh, an urgent review into the harmful and graphic stuff, that's material that's being peddled to youngsters in school. And I've explained, uh, if, you, if you look back, I'll put the link actually to the video at the end of this one, because I was appalled. It, it got me upset and I've done a lot on this. You'd think I'd be hardened to it now. Uh, it got me upset when I was making it. Um, the things they were teaching, particularly the younger children. It's like, these people are just, the schools today are just filled with degenerate filth that call themselves teachers. And I reckon they're getting off on what they're doing to these children. They are grooming them. Uh, anyway, the review launched by um, Rishi Sunak is likely to propose changes to the curriculum following complaints from parents about the use of, and they put ex explicit material. I'm going to put extremely explicit and disgustingly graphic material for very young children. And there's the delightful Miriam Cates. Schools will also get film style age ratings in a bid to protect children. The, D the DFA, Department of Education, has already announced. The proposal comes after Claire Page, 47, lost the legal fight to see sex education lesson plans used at her daughter's school. The judge ruled that commercial interests of third party providers outweighed the public interest in having the school hand over the material. So what they're saying is a private company's uh, intellectual property is more important than the grooming of your children. Your children's mental, emotional and physical being is not as important as the uh, intellectual uh, property of a, of a company that grooms children. Isn't that amazing? In March, Education Secretary Gillian Keegan wrote to all schools warning them not to keep parents in the dark over their sex education material, which they promptly ignored because they're all left-wing Marxists who think that parents um, are getting in the way of them educating the children in the way they see fit so that they can corrupt the minds of the young and groom them so that they can be the playthings of older people. Because that's what the teachers in this country are doing. Every teacher is either a P, a groomer, or someone who's not whistleblowing and is therefore supporting it. Every single teacher. Disgusting lot. And I am coming up. It's about time that these laws came in. It's about time children were put before commercial interests of companies. It's about time people came before profits, especially young and vulnerable people. Any MP that votes against this bill is a groomer. That's plain and simple. I'd like to see who fails to support the protection of children. This is one of those, we've got to see the results, and then we write to every single MP that fails to support this bill, accuse them for what they are, and ask them why they think it is acceptable for children to be treated in this way. And they are, quite simply, if they don't, if they don't support this, they're peas and groomers, and that's it. Anyway, I've brought this one to you. I don't want to get into it too much heavy. It upset me last time, I don't want to get upset again. So I shall stop now and say, Thank you very much for watching. And if you like what you want to like what I do on, on the channel, please do hit the subscribe button right there. It'd be very, very helpful. Until next time, stay safe, stay well. God's sake, protect your children, but mostly protect them from teachers. And goodbye.